Thursday, June 8th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So this is an early market update. And I also like to talk about cryptocurrencies and the local currencies that were around uh, in the 1930s. Uh, before that, let's have a look at the, the markets here. Uh, gold is uh, fairly steady. It's at 12.8788 uh, up a dollar. Uh, the high has been 12.8925 and the low 12.8356. Looking here at the chart, yesterday's low was 12.8274. So uh, the low today so far is above that. Uh, and uh, looking at the the price action uh, on the uh, on Monday. We made a high at 12.96, uh, which is just was just slightly above uh, from the high on uh, the 17th of April at 12.95.50, but not high enough to constitute a breakout. And looking at the chart right now, what it looks to me is that we're, we we might consolidate uh, for the next few days before uh, making a. Uh, an attack on the 1295 or 1300 level uh, in gold. Uh, so yeah, technically it still looks all right. It looks like we're just taking a rest here a little bit. Uh, you know, looking uh, from the 2nd of June, we've rallied from a low of 1259, you know, almost to uh, 1300. So maybe it's normal that we see a little bit of a, uh, a pause. And of course, you know, there are other interests who don't want to see gold go up too too high. Um, what else? Uh, silver doing fairly well uh, this morning, actually outperforming gold. It's at 1765, up seven cents. The high is 1770, the low 1753. So gold doing pretty well. Uh, stock market Dow up 13 points, 21,184. Uh, <laughs> S&P 2433 up a point. Uh, the FTSE is up 16 points, uh, 7481. Currency wise, things are fairly quiet, except for the dollar is uh, fairly weak against the yen mono 955. That's down a quarter of a percent. Against the pound and the euro, the dollar is basically unchanged. Um, of course, today is the UK general election. As I've said in my previous uh, videos, I don't think it really matter who wins. Uh, the balance sheet of our country is still in trouble. Uh, you know, labor winning, uh, of course, will probably even accelerate, you know, the debasement of the, the fiat money currency that we use here. Uh, Conservative, conservatives winning wouldn't change things. They probably manage it a little better. But uh, yeah, in my opinion, a lot of it is dis distraction. We have elections regularly, you know, every five years, sometimes a little less, and things never change. You know, things, you know, we always want reform to improve this and this and this and that. You know, we need to reform the NHS, reform this. Uh, the pensions, uh, it never uh, improves. It's just a way of keeping people divided. Um, so that's why I don't put much trust and faith in politicians. Um, for me, the most important thing is that we have very small government and we allow, you know, the state allows, pe allows people to be free. Even back during the 19th century, you know, when the, this country was a, a global empire, um, the government had 5,000 civil servants, and they're running three quarters of the world. Now we run just a little island in the North Atlantic, and we have, I think, over 500,000 civil servants. So, <laughs> you know, there you go. So... Uh, what else is going on? Uh, cryptocurrencies this morning. Um, yeah, Bitcoin corrected down a bit uh, in the last uh, 24 hours, got down to 2,600. Right now, according to WorldCoin Index, is at 27.72. Ethereum, uh, 257. Low was 248 in the last 24 hours. So we've seen a little bit of a correction down in um, 
cryptocurrencies. Uh, Steam is at 229. Um, 201 is the low in the last 24 hours, and the high is 238. Um, yeah, the other event today is the ECB uh, meeting. Uh, the uh, announcement usually comes at 12.45 uh, London time. And then there's a press conference by uh, the ECB president, Mario Draghi, at uh, 1.30 p.m. London. Um, there's talk that, uh, you know, before yesterday that he was going to announce maybe when he was going to hike rates or when he was going to decelerate the QE program. But then there's like a you know, uh, a story on Bloomberg, <laughs> like a trial balloon, they call. And I remember these uh, stories before the, the meetings, you know, it's just like probably an e ECB member giving out, you know, what they're thinking to, to, to the press. And it said that they're revising down, supposedly today, revising uh, the CPI, and they call it inflation, but I call it CPI figures for the next three years down to 1.5 for 17, 18, and 19. And previously, it was expected to be like 1.7 for each of these years. So a lot of people think that might be an excuse for uh, the ECB to not be as uh, hawkish today, but we'll have to wait and see. That could move markets around currencies, precious metals. I still think that uh, gold is, uh, you know, uh, pegged kind of to the Japanese yen look to the you know if the yen strengthens uh, gold should be doing well um, as for what's happening in the states I, I also think it's just theater all the stuff about the FBI President Trump you know you need to focus on what's important uh, uh, to you uh, in my opinion and yeah I've been thinking uh, in the last week or so because I remember reading about the Great Depression and how uh, small communities like even s small cities or towns uh, everywhere around the United States you know uh, started issuing their local money during the Great Depression to help businesses because there is no money around no credit you know the, the Federal Reserve uh, uh, money wasn't flowing so uh, and I was thinking, you know, th this is a little bit like Bitcoin. But back then it was like script or pieces of paper. And uh, but now it's even global, but it's digital. And um, yeah, this just goes to show uh, how things, you know, kind of never change. And I'll put a link to um, a study. It's a 16 page study. Uh, say, it says local money in the United States during the Great Depression. And I'll read a little bit about it here. Uh, it says local money in the United States during the Great Depression by Lauren Gatch, Department of Political Science, University of Central Oklahoma. And it says the Great Depression in the U.S. produced a great outpouring of local currencies as responses to various aspects of the economic crisis. This article describes the basic types of script in use, assesses their legality and theoretical justification, and ventures some generalization, generalizations as to what sort of scripts work best. It argues that the widespread use of local script was not motivated by any systematic analysis of the shortcomings of the national economy or of its monetary policy. Rather, the script movement represented eclectic responses to specific economic problems created by the Great Depression. So yeah, I think it's similar today. The digital currencies, uh, it's like a response to, uh, you know, the depression we've been in, the economic depression we've been in since 2008. Uh, I know we're told that we've had a recovery, but I think that's totally bogus and it's fake news. Uh, I if you look at uh, average GDP, I think I heard someone say, uh, I don't know who it was, but I remember that uh, uh, apparently the average since annual GDP growth since 2008 in the U.S. is 1.3%, and in the 1930s, it was 1.3% as well during the Great Depression. So am I saying that uh, this means this is going to be a temporary... Uh, you know, cryptocurrency is going to be a temporary phenomenon. 
until the economy improves, until we get out of this depression? No, uh, I'm not saying that. It could be different. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a brand new technology. Back then, a script or a piece of paper was not a, a new technology. So this could be kind of a, a hybrid of what happened then. I'm even seeing here on one of the uh, on Armstrong Economics, there is a script here. The city of Long Beach, Long Beach, New Jersey, acknowledges its indebtedness to uh, bearer and the sum of one dollar. So they're just issuing one dollar to try help businesses run. Uh, so, yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. The other uh, thing I wanted to note is uh, the mining stocks. Um, I'm looking at the uh, HUI Gold Bugs Index, and I, I, I've noticed that we've gone back above 200, which is a key um, key level. So uh, let's have a look here. Uh, we closed yesterday at 202.48. It was down 1%. But to me, you know, technically, technically it looks like uh, we've uh, bottomed. Uh, I think we need to get back above uh, like 213 uh, and longer term, uh, the high of this year is 221. And uh, it, it looks like, uh, you know, the low in May uh, was made a double bottom with the low from, from March at around 8, 181. And the midpoint is going to be this 213. So I would keep an eye on that. Uh, it looks like in you know in the 200 level is quite a a good technical uh, indicator, and we're above that. We'll have to see what happens the next couple of days. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it, uh, far and wide. Um, if you'd like to get updates of when I make my videos, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps. And also watch uh, my videos on steamit.com, which is, I think, uh, an exciting, growing social media platform based on the blockchain where anyone can earn uh, Steam or Steam dollars, which are cryptocurrencies. Um, yeah, and if you like to donate to my channel as well, there's some links uh, below in the description. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.